Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's actually not morning at all. It's past 3 p.m. Uh, it's Thursday, and today is day 1,500 of me daily vlogging, which is mind-blowing. Um, if you told me on day one of this daily vlog, which also happens to be day one of us as a nation actually realizing, oh crap, this COVID thing is for real and it might actually like affect us somehow. I never would have believed you if you'd said 1,500 days from now, your life is still going to be affected by COVID. Um, a lot of things are back to normal. I mean, generally in the world, a lot of people are living like COVID never happened. And I mean, I want to say good for them, but honestly, I don't mean that. I don't mean that at all. So I'm not going to say that. So considering I don't really know what to say, I'm just going to let that sit out there. The fact that some people are living like COVID was never a thing. I'm not one of those people. A lot of things in my life have gone sort of back to normal um like for example we have therapists coming to the house again um i'm seeing slightly more of my family slightly more frequently than i used to but i'm still masking whenever i go anywhere in public we're still mostly staying home getting our groceries delivered etc only leaving the house and going out into the public when we really need to sticking to outdoor only activities so that my son has stuff to do but so that we're not needlessly exposing him to stuff um we're making compromises where we are able while still very much keeping in mind that this is still around this is still contagious it's still dangerous it's still killing people and in fact it's on the rise which a lot of people don't know or maybe don't want to know because once you know that it's harder to continue living like you're living um and you don't want to not live like you're living you want to continue going on as if this is not a thing anymore um but I've made it a point to keep informed, and so that's why we do what we do. And yeah, that took a turn that I wasn't expecting to take, but how can I talk about 1,500 days of vlogging without acknowledging the fact that day one started because of COVID? So here we are. I mean, the series is called The COVID Diaries after all. So 1,500 days later, we're still here, and for the time being, still going. I considered briefly stopping my daily vlog, um, but now that some of you have come forward and talked about, you know, how you enjoy watching them, you're having more conversations with me in the comments and stuff, I'm feeling renewed for now in my desire to continue sharing our day-to-day -day life. So, in the spirit of that, I know it's late in the day, it's been really busy around here, but we've already had our two therapies today, I've done a few things around the house, I edited the last episode, which was episode 400, so that one's ready to go for you guys, you should have already seen it by now, or at least it should have been released by now, so I'm going to go ahead and post it up here, and for the rest of the day... I have to tidy up one of the lizard's enclosures because Mooshu's is fine, but little Lady Pepper is kind of a pig. <laughs> uh, she dirties everything in her cage constantly, and so it's a little harder to keep up with her, but I'm going to take care of her stuff today again. And um, there's a couple things that I want to do with kiddo for like some speech therapy related type practice. So we're gonna do that in a bit. Still have to water my plants. We're gonna have dinner soon. Although Kiddo is currently snacking on a bag of chips. So he might not be as keen for dinner. But yeah, there's tons going on as always and yet somehow nothing at all. That's kind of the nature of these vlogs. So if you're still here 1500 days later, Thank you so much for being here. Um, as of yet, still no plans for this weekend, but that doesn't mean nothing's happening. I mean, potentially nothing is happening, but whatever's going on, I will bring you guys along 
For now, I want to say again, thanks for being here and happy Thursday. Hey friends, it is Tuesday. Actually, it's just past noon now. So technically not Tuesday morning. Why am I saying Tuesday? It's Friday. I'm saying Tuesday because it's day two of this episode. And I forgot for a second that yesterday was in Monday, I guess. Anyways, it is Friday. Ha! Huh. And um, I've been concerned all week because Friday has become our hell day. And those two words should not ever like, like what sense does that make? Friday is the day you look forward to. Friday is the beacon of hope that the weekend is just around the corner. Not for us because Friday has become our busiest day where we have back to back to back therapies. Well, I got news earlier this week that the middle therapy was going to be canceled because the therapist was going to be out for one reason or another. Um, so that alleviated the situation some because it meant that there was going to be a bigger break between therapies one and three. But I was also concerned about that because kiddo's not used to therapy three being in the rotation yet on a Friday. And so all that time off and then suddenly she's here, that was probably going to be confusing and frustrating and not really set us up for success. But then this morning, the in-home therapist, which would have been therapist three, she sent me a text saying that she had a runny nose and a sore throat but she feels fine to work. So what do I think? Should she come in? I told her, please rest up and feel better and hopefully we'll see you on Monday, but absolutely not. Please stay far, far away from us. Um, thank you for telling me you have symptoms, but we do not take chances. So any symptoms you have, um, just feel free to take, you know, you will take time off. We will not, no thank you. So hopefully the lesson learned there, she was fine with it. She said, okay, I'll let scheduling know. Hopefully we'll see you Monday. Um, so as I told my husband, hopefully the lesson learned there was when I have symptoms, I should not come in and not when I have symptoms, I should keep them to myself and come in anyways because I don't want her to keep canceling just because I'm sick. But yeah, I don't care what you have. Maybe it's just allergies, but in case it's not, I don't want to risk it. So thank you for letting me know. Please stay home. So as a result, we had our first therapy this morning. And by the time that first therapy concluded, I'd come to understand that that would be our only therapy of the day. We've had the rest of the day off. So in a little bit, I'm going to record a recipe for the channel because that's something that I was hoping to do anyways today with that extra chunk of time in between the first, you know, in between those two therapies. Now I have even more time to do it. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. I've been listening to my audiobook, which has been great and doing some like channel backup type stuff that I needed to do on the computer anyways. Speaking of audiobooks, I started and finished Rebel Rising in like 24 hours so 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 good I I'm pretty sure I mentioned it because I remember telling somebody that I didn't really care about Rebel Riz Wilson one way or the other before I started the book maybe it was you guys maybe it was my husband I don't know but I really like her now I finished the book yesterday I cried happy tears at one point um, I really really enjoyed the book so it's not to say that you will cry happy tears or you will like it as much as I did, but I really liked it. I, it felt like a timely read considering mm -hmm. the era of life that I'm in right now. And um, it's my favorite book I think that I've read so far this year. So take that with a grain of salt, but if you're looking for something to read, I do recommend it. Now I'm reading Mistakes Were Made, but not by me. And it's basically a sociology book. It's why we justify foolish beliefs, bad decisions, and hurtful acts. And so far, just today, I've listened to about two and a half hours worth of it. And it's really, really good. But these are the kinds of books I like. So, um, another book that I've been reading 
is called Jesus and John Wayne, How White Evangelicals Corrupted a Faith and Fractured a Nation. And that one I've really been struggling with, even though the subject matter is something that immediately gripped me and something that I'm very interested in, kiddos moving the table. Um, the way that it's written is just not gripping me. And so I am currently four and a half hours into that book. There's seven and a half hours left. And I have picked up and what, like read beginning to end two books since I started Jesus and John Wayne because I'm pretty much doing everything I can to procrastinate on it. I don't want to read it. I don't want to finish it. But I also hate not finishing a book. So eventually I'll get back around to it, but it's not gripping me the way that I hoped it would considering the subject matter. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. But those are the ones I'm currently reading. So yeah, that's gonna be my Friday. We may or may not go hang out with my husband's cousin tonight. Um, I, I remain steadfast in all this socializing is not good considering COVID anyways. But hubby's really been missing his cousins and um, again, I'm having a really hard time. Speaking of mistakes were made but not by me, the whole book is about cognitive dissonance and justifying your actions even when you've done a wrong thing. How doing a wrong thing can actually make you feel more firm in your decisions because it's really hard to admit to yourself, I did a wrong thing. So instead you'll justify to yourself, oh, but I had to because at the moment it was the best choice or because I was really feeling like this. Or So you become more and more steadfast. You dig your heels in more and more and more the worse the outcome is because it's either that or admit you really really messed up and we are not hardwired to do that and that's what I keep coming back to whenever I think of socializing with anybody is that yeah we miss our family yeah we miss hanging out yeah we miss normal times etc and so it feels like not to me but it feels like a good choice because mental health and and relationships and etc and how are we gonna you know we have to get back to the real world and so on until we get sick and then what are we gonna tell ourselves well at the moment we made the right choice because i really missed my cousins and so that's that potentially but i'm still gonna be here like hey wait a minute i thought it was a bad idea all along and i got sick too so i don't know i'm obviously struggling with that but What am I gonna do? Go, go along with it and hope for the best, I guess, because I'm feeling very much at a crossroads right now where I'm feeling like, I don't know, I'm feeling like the only sane person in a world full of crazies. And typically when you feel like that, it's because you're the crazy. <laughs> but I really do feel like nobody is being careful enough right now maybe I need to loosen up some but I also really firmly feel like I don't I don't know again I'm rambling that's gonna be my Friday so happy Friday I guess <laughs> Hello friends, it's Saturday afternoon, the AC is going, and so is the vacuum. So I'm really sorry about any background noise you're picking up right now. But yeah, it's Saturday afternoon. Last night, Hubby and I went out with his cousins, or we didn't go out, we went to their house, we stayed outdoors the whole time, etc. But we did hang out with adults and have conversation and have so many laughs that my throat actually hurt when I came home. So um, I needed that. I didn't realize how much I needed that. I actually didn't even want to go because I was like, it's been so long since I've socialized with people. I wouldn't even know what to say, but it was, I needed it. I did, I needed it. Um, so that was great. And then today we've been super productive. As soon as we got up and everybody had breakfast, we went out to the reptile store. We got crickets for all of the little ones. Um, we've come home now and tidied up the entire house. The Roomba's going so then daddy can come through and like sweep Swiffer mop. I just went and dropped off an Amazon return that I needed to do. 
so it's just been like go 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 checking things off lists being super productive today I'm feeling good it's a good it's a good day um, for the rest of the day we're gonna continue tidying up I've got to get my workout in um, hanging out I guess we're finally starting or we're finally watching because we're by episode like four or five now finally watching season three of the righteous gemstones we love that show and we did not realize that it had come back and then when we realized it we were like oh man we gotta we gotta come back and watch that but at that time what there was like two or three other shows that we were watching that were in our rotation so we literally forgot that it existed and currently the only show that we have in our rotation so to speak is star trek discovery but that just comes out once a week i'm also watching top chef and challenge all stars season four but i'm doing that on my own so it's not something hubby and i watch together um so we were thinking yesterday like what can we watch we've got there's got to be something that we you know are missing out on or that we meant to watch and we haven't watched it yet or, so we started going through hbo and i went oh wow hey there it is so we're four or five episodes in already quite enjoyable so far figured it would be ah <sighs> what else I think that's it. We're definitely going to my parents tomorrow because my grandma bought Raul. She bought oxtail. So my mom's gonna make oxtail. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. And yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna get into much else today as far as like vloggable type things. But if we do, I'll bring you guys along. Um, and if not, then you know exactly how my day's gone and exactly how my day is going. So I hope that you are having a great Saturday, whatever that means for you. Whether it's super productive, super relaxing, a mix, whatever. Happy Saturday. Hello friends, it's Sunday evening and I keep waiting for the AC to shut off so that I could say goodnight to you guys, but it just does not seem to be happening. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. It is Sunday and I haven't actually vlogged today. And I've noticed that at some point of the weekend it typically happens where I get caught up in like actually living life and I forget to document it. So I do apologize for that, but if you've been here for a minute, I'm sure you've come to expect that by now where I just insert little clips and then kind of fill you in on what happened. So today, the house deep clean continued we didn't set out to spring clean but that's kind of what happened this weekend so that continued today and i'm feeling really really good about where we're at um then we went to my parents house and my mom made rabo encendido so it's cuban oxtail stew and i actually have a recipe up on the channel if i'm not mistaken my mom's recipe uh so if you want to see that really really good I know the idea of eating the tail of something might turn some people off but it's just the most rich beef stew you've ever had in your life except you're eating it off a bone anyways again if that doesn't scare you you will be very very like largely rewarded if you try this recipe I'm gonna post it right here so we had that then my dad fell asleep so my mom and my grandma came over here for a little bit and hung out and I had my workout we did all the dinner time and the nighttime things and now here I am talking to you guys so it's been a very nice day it's been a very good weekend uh, in the week to come there's a lot going on we have a couple appointments this week one of which I'm not really looking forward to, the other of which I'm damn, like, I can't stress enough how much I am dreading, but they both have to happen. Actually, I guess there's three appointments because in the weekend, I'm gonna have a dental appointment. I'm not dreading that one though. <laughs> that actually, <laughs> that goes to show how ugh, this coming week is gonna be where the dentist is the thing that I am least like 
oh no about like I, I'll go to the dentist three times this week if it means I don't have to do the other things but it is what it is they all have to get done so I'm kind of already looking forward to this coming week being over even though it legit has not even begun yet but it'll be fine we'll get through <sighs> we'll be fine um, also tomorrow we're meant to go back into like our in-person therapy schedule but last we heard right on Friday she was sick enough to let me know I'm sick so do I come in or not and of course I told her absolutely not if you have symptoms stay home if you think you might have symptoms stay home if you don't have any symptoms at all but you were potentially exposed to somebody sick stay home like I was super clear that we do not take any chances um, that being the case I'm kind of wishing that she would stay the hell away from my house tomorrow but I guess I should be fair and ask her how she's feeling and go from there um, I'm really 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 heavily leaning towards being like hey so how are you okay that's great listen maybe you should not come in today just in case and we'll see you on Wednesday instead like I know that we just started and it sucks to have to keep canceling but I needed to be super 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 clear that I really don't mess around with this A and B more importantly I don't mess around with this I don't want to take the chance of him getting sick for an hour of them hanging out because at this point they're not even actually doing therapy and I know that they're not going to ever get to that point if she doesn't come and pair with him first but again for an hour of pairing he might spend a week sick and then some mm, nah, not at all I can't think of a single reason why it would be worth it so I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up telling her, I'm obviously going to ask first, how are you doing? And if she says awful, then obviously what's done is done. We're not doing therapy, right? Duh. But I'm pretty sure that even if she says I'm doing okay, or it was a false alarm, I'm going to say, well, sucks to suck, but it is what it is. Especially because we have all these things coming up, right? Like this week we have all these appointments. Next week we have other appointments. Like there's just a lot going on in the month of May. I don't want to ever get sick for any reason at all, period. But especially with all this stuff happening, I don't want to take the chance. So anyways, thanks guys. You've helped me work that out. That's one less thing I have to worry about tomorrow. So that's what's been going on with me. That's what's on my mind. That's what I've been up to. So let me know a little something about you. How was your weekend? What do you have coming up this week? And um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!